Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today we're going to work on complex fractions. And of course, we cannot get started without our student of the semester. And it's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. We're doing your favorite subject. What? Complex fractions. Yeah, he likes those. Huh. Charlie's a complex person. What? Never mind, Charlie. Let's get started right there. Now, first we're going to do a review. Here, we are dividing with fractions. Now, what do we do when we divide with fractions, Charlie? Multiply by the reciprocal. That's right. So, here we go. Notice it's times 4 over 1. The 2 thirds does not change. Okay. Now, how do we multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight across, straight across the top and straight, and across, straight across, across the bottom. bottom. Very nice. And so, what's our answer, Charlie? 8 thirds. 8 thirds. Very nice. Now, here's the same problem, but now it's being presented as a complex fraction. Don't get scared. Okay, Charlie, now we're going to use our clearing fractions technique or Kung Fu fractions. In order to do that, we need the lowest common denominator from both the fraction from the top and the fraction on the bottom. So, what's the LCD, Charlie? 12. Very nice. Now, what we're going to do is multiply both the top and the bottom by that LCD, and here goes our Kung Fu Fraction Technique, Charlie. Okay, 3 goes to 12, 4. And 4 times 2, 8. Very nice there, Charlie, and 4 goes into 12, 3. And 3 times 1, 3. Is 3, very nice, and notice the two answers are exactly the same. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, I'm always going to do it that way. Yeah, you will on these, but don't worry, they're going to get more complicated. That's right. And by the way, these are non-calculator problems, so all you calculator kids out there, put those calculators away, okay? All right, let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Now, look at the two fractions. What is the lowest common denominator? 21. Very nice there, Charlie. So, we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 21. And let's do our Kung Fu fraction technique, Charlie. 7 goes into 21, 3. And 3 times 3, 9 is 9. That's right. Yes, that's a negative 3. My mistake. 3 times negative 3 is a negative 9. There you go, Charlie. Now, I get distracted. Be quiet. What? All right, Charlie. Shh, shh. 21 goes into 21. One time. And 1 times 5, 5. Very nice there, Charlie. Our answer is negative 9 over 5. Or remember, we can put the negative in front and say it's negative 9 fifths. Same answer. Okay, now, that was a good warm-up. Let's get to the more complicated problems. That's right. These are called the attitude adjustment problems for him. What? All right, Charlie, don't get scared. Here we go right there. That's right. Now, just relax. Use the force. All you got to do is find the lowest common denominator for all of your fractions. Remember, don't just look at the top and don't just look at the bottom. You have to look at all of them. Okay, Charlie, what's the lowest common denominator? 12. That's right. Uh -huh. Now, we have to multiply top and bottom by that 12. And now, we have to use the distributive property, Charlie. That's right. Just like this up here. There you go. And there you go there. And then you come to the bottom. And there you go there. And there you go there. That's right. Okay. Now, let's do our Kung Fu Fraction Technique, Charlie. 6 goes into 12. 2 times. And 2 times 11. 22. Very nice there. Bring down your subtraction. 3 goes into 12, 4 times. And 4 times 2, 8. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay. 4 goes into 12, 3. And 3 times 3, 9. Very nice. Bring down your addition. And now 2 goes into 12, 6 times. And 6 times 3, 18. 18. Very nice there. Now, what's 22 subtract 18, Charlie? 14. And 9 plus 18, 27. 27. Very nice. Some kung fu right there. There we go. <laughs> That was so much fun. Let's do another one. Oh, all right, here we go. Right there, Charlie. Don't get scared. Okay, Charlie. Notice we have a whole number there, but don't worry about that. Just look at the fractions. There's one on top, two on the bottom. And what is the lowest common denominator for all three of those fractions? 20. Very nice there, Charlie. So now we're going to multiply both top and the bottom by that 20. And we're going to do what, Charlie? Distribute. That's right. Distribute. There we go. And we'll do another one. And come to the bottom and bring it home with that one. And there's another one for you. Anyway, 
Now let's do our clearing fraction or kung fu fraction technique, Charlie. Four goes into 20. Five times. And five times five. 25. Very nice. Bring down your subtraction. Now, don't forget, every term has to be multiplied by 20. So you have to do 20 times two, which is what, Charlie? 40. Very nice. Now, five goes into 20. And four times six. 24. Very nice. And two goes into 20. 10 times. And 10 times three. There is 30. Very nice. Now, let's check your arithmetic. 25 subtract 40, Charlie. Negative 15. That's right. And 24 plus 30, 54. 54. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, Charlie, are these numbers divisible by three? Well, oh, okay, let me review something for you. Remember, and this is for you too, if you sum up the digits to any number, and that sum is divisible by three, it means the number is divisible by three. Watch, one plus five is six, and six is divisible by three, which means 15 is divisible by three. 54, five plus four is nine, and since that sum, nine, is divisible by three, 54 is divisible by three. That works for any number. Okay, Charlie, we'll put the negative in front. What's 15 divided by three? Five. And 54 divided by three, Work that one out. Don't get scared. Don't get distracted, Charlie. Shh. Shh. All right, Charlie, time's up. What'd you get? 18. 18. So our <laughs> answer is negative 5 over 18. Don't forget to box your answer. And that's it for today. So, whew. we'll see you all again soon.